Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, welcome. If you guys are not new here, welcome back. I thanks for clicking on today's video. Welcome to another season of AP Hell Week. It's my third and final season, and this is the one where I really just don't care, but I still want to put some efforts. 9:29 Saturday, May 4th, and I'm not working this morning. Don't be fooled. I'm working this afternoon though. Um, at 2.45, 2.30-ish. Um, so yeah, but we're starting the day off, going to the gym, gonna go get that workout in, and then we'll come back and start studying. I only have two AP exams this year though. Only AP Euro, so AP European History, and then AP in English Literature and Composition. <sighs> it's 11.30, then minimal studying. I've just have gone over some stuff in my EPRO notebook. Um, I'm honestly again like not saying that much because like I am not that stressed because they don't matter for me, they don't count. I'm gonna try my hardest, but I'm not stressing myself out. So anyway, I have AP Lit first on Wednesday and then I have APRO on Friday, but I also have econ stuff, an econ final for like my class. I'm not I'm just taking honors econ, I'm not taking macromic. Um, so I'm just going to, I need to do that. That is one thing that does need to happen. But I am working today and I'm doing the front desk. So chill, I'm going to my laptop and do that stuff. But I'm going to finish doing my laundry because I got home from the gym like an hour ago at this point, an hour and a half ago. It was a really good workout. I did total body, so great. I'm going to finish doing my laundry that I have here. Put some new laundry in and then we're going to go shower. And... Then my mom should be back because she's buying me a pub sub. I also have to mention that I also have um, a video to film um, on why I chose the school that I did. Don't know when I'm going to film that, but it will be like very soon because I want it to come out close to when I announced. And I announced it, um, my decision on May 1st. And it's the 4th today um, to me do that. Then I also have i also need to edit a video because it's been around four days since i've uploaded a vlog and i need a video to go up soon so i need to start editing my last day of senior year and then i also have to finish um editing someone's senior photos that i took so a bunch of things happening i need to get all this laundry done though because i literally have no clean work shirts and i have 10 I mean, it doesn't help that I now, like, work more than I used to, so, like, 10, like, was a lot, but now it's, like, mm, it doesn't, it's not that much, I don't do my laundry every week, which is a problem, but I just, like, don't have the time, but hopefully during summer I will, I should. Good morning, it's now Sunday, it's May 5th, and I just, not just, like an hour ago or so, I also saw like the anniversary brand thing on my car, so it's like so awkward, I need to take it off. I woke up at 7.30 this morning, lay in my bed, didn't get out till like 7.45, I knew I wanted to come and run down at this park, it's like 15 minutes away from my house, I love running here because it's a huge running there's a huge running trail. I'm pretty sure my phone's gonna overheat, which is why it's like turning off. There's a huge running trail down there, so I knew I wanted to come and run. Um, because we book club had also we had also plans to come down here and get breakfast and read and talk and whatever. But I have finals and AP exams this week, so I was like, okay, I'm coming and everything. But I can't just like sit and read my book. Like I have to like study and do some work and stuff. Because again, I'm not too worried. The only class I have a final that like counts for my actual grade is econ, or a final I haven't taken. So I had to do my econ one. I have to like study for econ. But other than that, like my EPs, it's like eh, whatever. So anyway, I came down here at around like 8:30, ran a 5K. Yeah, I've just been watching a Modern Family. I was watching my comedian. So 
had our gov chem uh, on Monday, and then I think today was stat, micro, human geo, and one other thing maybe. Um, but I have my first one tomorrow. I have AP Lit, and I have work right now. Is or I have work soon. It's 1:08. I just left school. We're not doing anything in school because all my grades are closed. Um, but I'm only going to school for the attendance, and because I have AP euro and that class like it's just literally like a couple of us there because everyone has had exams right so no none of the seniors are here um so i'm just reviewing what i need to review which is great for me because honestly it's just like anything i have questions or i don't know 100 i'm just asking him but anyway it's 108 so i left school um not that long ago and i'm here at the dentist because i have a dentist appointment yay and then i'm to go straight to work i haven't eaten lunch or anything so we're gonna get this over with Go real fast and hopefully i'll have enough time to eat at work before class starts i'm officially on the clock at like 3 15 so we'll see let's go inside hopefully it's quick and easy and painless good morning fam happy may 8th happy ap lit exam day Woo! so not ready for this like i'm not worried about the exam i just don't want to write <laughs> that's just the running theme okay um, I, yesterday I studied, I did like a MCQ walkthrough with AP College Board, and then I did, I looked up like some Larry devices again. Mostly I wanted it to be over. I've studied a lot more for AP Euro, um, I have on Friday, um, but yeah, honestly it's been pretty chill. No one was at school yesterday, like I was literally like, on Monday, my teacher just told me to leave because it was only me who was in class, and then yesterday it was just me and one other girl in one of my classes but it was ap euro so i just obviously stayed and like just asked him all the questions that i needed answered you know okay we're doing a little bathroom at work vlogging today the fan is always just comes on so i can't turn it off so i'm sorry about that so hopefully you can hear me um i have an ap exam today you guys know that it went pretty well for the most part um thought I at least got a four. I think I ate that multiple choice up so good. I thought I got a five until it came to the second essay. And so the first one um, was fine. Cooked that, um, this is the poem first? Yeah, the poem. Easy. The prose? What was that? <laughs> like, I did not know what to talk about at all. Like, it made complete sense. It did. I just didn't know what to talk about. So, whatever. And then, ate up the literary analysis i used the raising in the sun so it's my thumb work i'm floor managing for two hours and i have two classes so i'm covering two classes so yay i thought i was in trouble but i'm not i just i get scared about everything so hello you guys it is may 10th it's 12 40 i just finished my pro exam so that's my last ap exam i ever have to take my life last history exam i ever have to ever ap history in my major history i have to take in my life and honestly multiple choice was low-key kind of hard i thought it was kind of hard i know that's like an unpopular opinion right now but i haven't seen the tiktoks yet but the writing was easy saq leq dbq ate it up so easy it did not seem like ap euro to me it seemed more like ap world and ap us but like eh, whatever anyway but i don't rest i literally have so many things to do today um my proctor like so bad like we got so late and april macro was right after and they like said time people were taking it in our room and they're like well why can't we go in yet because it starts at 12 and it was 11 50 like five and we weren't out yet and i was like yeah because our proctor took forever but i'm walking around out in public in pink sweatpants and my gray sweatshirt just got some chick-fil-a but we have a bunch of stops to go to today because i have my molly Yuan end of year dinner tonight that i was coerced into planning um but now i'm like okay we're gonna go full into this people are coming so i'm gonna do something so the plan is to get my teachers or advisors flowers base wrap it like cute everyone else gets little goodie bags i want to try and see if i can get like a globe balloon or something like that and then i have to do that so that's why i'm at five below right now oh i had to park like five freaking blocks away because 
it's a Friday afternoon, guys. Go to school, go to work. There's so many people out here, but uh, whatever. And then I have to go to Target and I need some stuff for myself. And then also I probably will get the vase from Target. Um, I also need candy for my kids at work because next week is awards week. Um, and so they get a ribbon and a medal and I like to bring my kids candy on special occasions like that. So we're doing that. And then I have to, I might have to do a gas at 90 miles, but we'll see. Um, I have to pick up my sister from school. So I have to be back at that area by like 2.30. And then I have to go pick up my mother from work because her car is at the BMW dealership right now. Okay, it's gonna cut me off in a second, but I just got done with Five Below and my budget for this whole thing is $100. Not $100 I'm paying by myself, please. Um, but me and my partner are splitting the costs. Um, so I said $50 me, $50 him kind of thing. So I figured that's pretty good. Um, so we stay under budget. We're at $47 right now. We need to go to Target and get a couple more things, but we should be good. And I may be able to go home before I have to get my sister from school, but we'll see. I don't think so. It's 108. We'll see. So we're crowning like our new presidents today. So I got her an inflatable crown. I think only one of them is coming. So got them a, a crown. Then I got four different bags of candy, but you can just like, it's like the pickup kind of candy. So I got 10 in each. So I got Tootsie Rolls, Sour Patch, Smarties, and Dum Dums. And my advisor's kids are coming and they're like younger. So I was like, I'm gonna get them a basket or one too. I, love, I always love when people do that for me. So I got the bags to put everything in and wrap around. We got these pens. I got my teacher's or our advisor's chocolate. I'm gonna get them flowers and a card. I didn't know like what kind of chocolate they like. So I got dark milk and then caramel and milk. So I figured they might like one of those. Okay, then I got chopsticks. I think I got another one, no? Yes, I did. I got three. Okay. I got chopsticks to put in each of them because I needed something else. And then the last thing I got, I'm not going to pull them all out, but I got these, these little different, like, little plushies, which I thought were cute. I was going to get keychains, but they weren't as cute. So these were cuter. Um, they're not practical, but, like, eh, it's fine. Okay, next stop, Publix to go get some flowers. Then Target. Then probably school. Then, <laughs> come on. I need a shower in that time period that I'm home. Then you to go pick up my mom that I need to go well I need to go stop somewhere else then go pick up my mom then come back home and get ready oh my god okay I'm not gonna go home because it's gonna take me like 30 minutes to get back to school and it's make sense for me to go home so like by the time I get to school they'll be saying that it's left in the school day so that's chill but I just bought a bunch of stuff from Target everything I need so I'm gonna show you really quickly before my sister I pick up my sister I got three things of flowers, bless that Target had flowers because of other things they never do, <gasps> but they did. So I got three different like tulips to make like a little arrangement. Of course I have to do it the hard way, you know? Oh, I'm so excited about like everything I'm doing. It just like freaking stresses me out. Um, but yeah. So while I'm waiting though, I figured like I'll just get everything ready. So I'm gonna write in the card. I just got them a card. Um, I got a vase for the flowers because I'm not gonna use one for my house because you know that's my mother's. I got a loofah for myself. Um, so I spent $89, but I stayed in budget for them because I think I went over $5, but that's okay. I stayed in budget for them, but I bought this for myself. Pads, obviously. I got them a gift card to go to movie theaters because my teacher loves going to the movie theaters. So got that. Beauty blender for myself. My massive hunk of gel because I always need it. And then, yes, I know these aren't good for your face. I don't care, okay? I'm broke, they're cheap. We got that, okay? Um, and that's it. So I have a pen in my car and I'm gonna like wipe the notes and put the gifts together. And then I'll tie everything when I get home. When I get home, I'm gonna shower. I'm gonna shower and get dressed then work on the gifts and I have to leave my house by like 3.30 to go and pick up my mom from work. So, woo. Okay guys, T minus 30 minutes because I just got home. I put together most of my gift bags in the car by myself. Like I want to tie bows on them and do all this little cute stuff. So, shower, 30 minutes before I have to leave, get dressed, 
pick up my mother, come back, get everything last minute situated, then go back again. So, oh, just got home from running around. I picked my mom from work. I'm just coming back and now. I put the flowers together. So I want to find some like blue ribbon to wrap this up. So that's what we're searching for. I need to like wrap around. This works perfect. These are the flowers. Um, yeah, some of them are falling, but like, it's fine. It's cute. It looks good in my opinion. And then I'm gonna tie the ribbon around each of like the gift bags right here, make it a little cute little bow. And I have all those in my small thing. And then we're gonna make pop up the crown. 